Hello and welcome back to Pandemic Playground with Dave. So today we have another experiment for you guys and that is laser targeting. Kind of. Alright, so as you guys know, we've been playing around with turrets and sensors a little too much. But why not put them two and two together? Alright, so what do I mean by that? That is playing around with the sensors to create some kind of laser sight or aiming system um, for our turrets so been playing around with the sensors a little bit more and you know how we can technically go into the info here put in the sensor field range and then pretty much show the sensors on HUD and it creates a bit of a sensor range or field that you can visibly see so if I hit my grouping of toolbar 5 which is to show a HUD for our sensors it shows somewhat of a laser targeting system there so if I jump into my camera I can clearly see the direction of where the laser will or where the ammo or bullets will be directed as you see there but of course by default without it you will see these um, little laser dots anyways on any objects as you see here but the only difference is pretty much showing you where they're going so if you see here if I line it up perfectly to the floor it lines up exactly where the laser points are so you kind of see a bit of a laser length there if you see in the third person view um, so you can kind of direct your, your your aim a little bit better I mean it's not significant just a little bit better so for example here um, even if it didn't have a red dot I, I would be easily able to kind of aim where the dummy is right there right so I was just playing around with it to see you know how this kind of works out it, it doesn't really do too much but it's a cool little um, aesthetic view of it I guess of the laser so as you see here you can see the laser actively still um, and then you'll see where it's aiming the the problem with this is that there is a bit of a limit to how far it can go so if we're in our control panel looking at our sensors, the furthest we can go, we're using back because the sensor is facing us right now, right over here. Um, so we're doing the back and it's only 50 meters forward. So there is a bit of a limitation of how far forward it can go, um, as you see here. So 50 meters is not much, but it still can give you a bit of a direction of um, where you're aiming. So if, look, if I'm looking this way, you're never gonna see a laser but at least you get an idea of where it's shooting at or where the bullets will kind of um, go towards and if we're looking at maybe a vehicle like this we can get a better aim I mean yeah generally you can go like this and you see the lasers but if you like zooming out a bit that's a little hard to see in terms of the little dot but at least you get a good idea of where you're lining up in terms of shooting down something like this but again it's only 50 meters long so instead of playing around with the sensors, I thought maybe we could make it longer with some projectors. So I added two projectors to the same similar system and then projected it towards the front of the turrets or the Gatlin, um, Gatlin guns and see how far we can go. So here, if I turn on my groupings, we get a decently lengthy um, laser targeting system here and we can easily see where we're going with it too. I mean, again, not the most useful thing in the world, but at least it gives you an idea where you're targeting in that sense. Um, otherwise, you're gonna be kind of blindingly look for the real red dot, but with the laser targeting system, you can kind of figure out where it's going in that sense. So just playing around with this, see how that kind of looks. And if we leave the system and see this projection, um, it is pretty long, which is not too, too bad here. And what is this projection? It's just basically a regular light armor block. And I don't recall how many were there, but let's see here. So this one specifically is about 402 blocks long. So that's how far we got it. And that will increase it a lot significant or a more significant length than the sensors here. So again, the sensor is only about 50 meters. This one can go a little bit further. So let's just kind of take a 
guess what that would be or not a guess or an accurate kind of look at it so we put a gps mark right there and this is 402 you can always make it a little longer to be honest and this one's about 200 meters which is not bad and again you can make it a lot longer if you like the only tricky thing is when you're building it i feel like you, when you're building a projection like this that's lengthwise you have to build it from one end to the other so that you can project it perfectly fine um, I did it a different way before where I pre I added a whole bunch going from this side to that end and then I added more to the left end and the right end and the projection was not perfect and it just projected in the middle of the the block some, like somewhere around here so I couldn't get it as long as it is now so the so tip if you are going to use something like this which I kind of honestly think you never use something like this but if you are at least you have an idea of you can make it a lot longer if you like so you can probably make it a thousand blocks maybe even more depending on your pcu limit or if you even have a limit but if not this kind of works out with the projector so the only big limitation of using the projection laser pointing situation is that you don't get the sensor function out of it so that might not be a significant thing but as you see here, I don't even see a red dot, but at least we know where we're shooting at this far away using this kind of projection here. But again, you don't have these sensor um, actions um, like this one does. But again, this is so short range that it doesn't really matter too much. But if you did want to play around with the sensor's actions, you can actually put it into the sensor uh, and set up the action where you have um, Gatlin gun shoot on and Gatlin gun shoot off so that means when it targets something within the field range it shoots and when you're out of it it stops shooting so too bad it's only about 50 meters long but if you can if you had a use for it it does shoot it um, depending on how far you are so example if I want to shoot this platform here and it detects it it shoots it I'm not even pressing anything to be honest and then I move away from it and it stops I was gonna try with the dummy, but it doesn't detect the dummy for whatever reasons. But I think it does detect the platform of the dummy so right there. So that's a bit of a nifty thing to do with the laser pointer with the sensors. So you can shoot automatically without actually really having to fire anything. And I'm pretty sure you can combine this with something else too. Um, some like maybe an automatic rotation and tracker. So if it finds something, it's gonna shoot at it. Uh, I just gotta figure out how to do that. And then maybe I can share that with you guys as well. So all in all, you have a nice little laser pointer. It works out pretty well, but is it useful? Probably not as useful as, you, as it may look. It, it looks great aesthetically. So you got some kind of laser sighting or laser pointing, which is pretty cool. Um, with the sensor one, I do like it because it, you can set up the actions for it. But the only problem it is only 50 meters long. So once it hit this point, you won't even automatically shoot anything and by the time something gets that close your hurts will probably be destroyed anyway so that's always a bit of an issue the projection version i like it a little bit more because it, it gives you the length uh like you can make it as long as you want so you kind of get an idea where it's shooting so as you see here still your bullets are not straight once you get that long anyways but at least you have a decent direction of it without the projection you, you don't even know where you're going as you see here you gotta shoot your um bullets to kind of follow the trail but if you had the projection like so you know exactly where you're kind of targeting or get a good sense of where you're targeting in that sense so hopefully that kind of does work out for you guys if you do want to use something like this of course i try to design it in different ways i try to do a more uh cylinder type of system but i couldn't scale down this cylinder which would have been uh this guy here <laughs> if i could scale it down it would have been a nice round laser pointer and then it's instead of a square pointer there but i think it kind of still works out in in that way so this kind of gives you a nice little aiming system um by default the the laser pointing system is all vanilla it's just projections a simple little setup um i don't know why i didn't think about this earlier but these are pretty cool fun ways of having these um kind of aiming systems here all right, so another quick little freebie for you guys as well as a tip with the projector. I finally figured it out. If you've seen my surviving per attempt, trying to figure out which direction is the projector. So if we're looking at the build of it, this is the proper rotation of the projector if we're looking at it this way. 
So basically, as you see here, let me just drop this guy down. When you rotate it, where you'll see there's two little spikes here. So that's actually the front and the back of it, you know, looks like this. So you can follow this kind of directional line design here until you see the two lines dipping into the middle. So that's the front and you can also tell the bottom by seeing this here where it's connected with four little lines there so you can easily place it down this way as i did before and then you have a projection or projector that's facing forward and also correctly um, going up and down left and right so just to kind of prove that concept we can easily get into here go to projector which would be this guy here and we put a blueprint of let's just say one of our drill mods or a grinder let's put the drill mod here right and as you see here kind of in the background where we're going to go into a projector and hit forward offset positive and it's moving forward as you see there vertical offset positive is up negative is down as you see and of course horizontal which will give you left and right so that is how i kind of figured out or just by looking at it and just playing around with it i figured that, that was the rotation of it and again it's um if you look at vertical strips here up and down that's the front and then on the four that's the bottom so just knowing that you'll be able to orientate your projectors a little bit better um, than me as I used to do it player put it in randomly and then kind of find my um, offsets just by trial and error which takes up way too much time all right so I hope you guys enjoyed this experiment with playing around with laser pointers or a aiming type of system um, hopefully it's useful to you guys if not oh well I thought it was pretty interesting um, especially aesthetically and as always if you made it to the end of this video please hit that thumbs up like the video if you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button and notification bell to be alerted of upcoming videos. Comments are always appreciated, so feel free to drop a comment below. And of course, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.